Today we're doing the meatball that set the standard for all meatballs. Italian! <laughs> Loaded with classic Italian flavors and topped with some shaved Parmesan. Made even better when topped with some homemade amazing marinara sauce. Oh, every bite is a meatball dream come true. <laughs> that is a dream come That's true. A meatball I, happen. I dream about meatballs <laughs> and these meatballs in particular. So let's these start are so good. making them. All right, if you can, I've got two eggs over here. If you can oh, you need lightly me to, beat those for me. Um, let me talk about my meat. I mean, a meatball wouldn't be meat with a, or meatball without meat. <laughs> so we've got our, our medley here, our, our trio of meats, which I think just add a depth of flavor that's great. I got a pound of ground beef. I do like 85% lean. I've got a pound of ground pork. And then here, I've got a half a pound of ground veal. If you can't find veal, or if you don't want to cook with veal, then you can just do those same amount, um, but just do like a pound and a half of beef and a pound of pork. Okay, All so right. now go ahead you and add those, those eggs? Yeah, just add those in. And I, what I'm gonna do, I've got my gloves on you here. You got them, and you I'm got just your gonna, gloves on. I'm gonna mix these together. <laughs> I just, these meatballs, like, like we said, I mean, we are, Crazy for meatballs. Oh, these are so, so good. These are probably. We like all types of meatballs. We do. We, we do. like Swedish meatballs. We like. I think that's the only other meatball I know. Mexican. Oh, al yeah, the albendigos. Yes, oh. yes. Oh, my gosh. Those are delicious. They are. And the verde sauce. Oh, oh yum, yum, yum. So, so good. All right. So, what, can I tell them about these breadcrumbs? Please do. Please all do. All right. So, we've got some freshly made breadcrumbs. We had a, um, a piece. This is a half a cup. So, it's basically a one slice of Italian bread. And we cut off the. Uh, crust, and then we pulled it apart and threw it in the in the food processor, and there you have it. All yeah, nice. Take notes of that. You, <laughs> you pull it apart. So if you can, if you can remember, put your bread out like a few hours or even the night before, because it's good if it's kind of dry yeah. and stale. Because the reason that is, it's going to then absorb all of this deliciousness. Yeah. And then we've got the milky bread, I call it, which is three. Um, you use three pieces, right? Three slices. Three of slices Italian of Italian bread. bread. And bread. they're large. These are larger ones. And you so. took the crust off those as well. Yes, I did. And then you tore it up. Threw it in the bowl and put in, is it a cup a of cup milk? A cup of whole milk. And then just let it soak for like eight minutes. Like eight minutes. minutes. Yeah. And so it's really going to soak all of that up. Look and that, that really did soak all of that up. This okay. is a binder, I would be guessing. It is, it is. And of. it's also the one of the, the secret tricks of making your meatballs really tender. Everyone likes a really tender meatball, right? Mm -hmm. So that is that is going to help do that. Okay, right, now I, need, I need you to help me add, so let's add some it. herbs. Okay. So first of all, let's do those breadcrumbs. Okay. Um, so th these, no, not those, these. These, these breadcrumbs. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, okay, that's that's a half a cup of those freshly. Uh, no, not that's okay. Later. I got it. I got it. I got it. So if you don't have, if you don't do the fresh, that's okay. <laughs> you can do the the store bought those work just as well. Okay, that is basil. Basil. That's two tablespoons of fresh chopped basil. If you can do fresh, that would be best. Okay, and, and I've got we've some got parsley. Some three tablespoons of fresh uh, cut parsley, and then I've got three cloves of garlic that I've minced. Sorry, okay. get it all That's good. And there. then if you could grab over there, that's a, a tablespoon of salt, kosher mm -hmm. salt. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and dump that in there. there good. You go. You're doing great. And then <laughs> a teaspoon of black pepper. Yes. Okay. When now, do we do the cheese? In just a moment. I'm okay. gonna get this nice incorporated. Yeah. You don't wanna overdo this because it, it just, in theory, it can make your meatballs a little tough. Um, but you do wanna get it. Nobody wants a tough meatball. I hate a tough meatball. <laughs> you know, they're, they're hard to navigate. But um, anyway, you wanna do this until it just gets nicely well incorporated and everything is evenly distributed throughout the meat mixture. Okay, so now that's good. So now we're you gonna- want these guys? Yes, okay. yes. Now this is when slip that in. There you now go. if you've got an excess milk in there, it should soak all of it up. Yeah. But if you've got a lot of excess milk, you don't really want more than a tablespoon of just the milk. So discard um, excess. And then we're gonna do that's a cup wow. of good old grated Parmesan there we cheese. Go, people. Like we said, this has got all of the flavors, <laughs> all of the quintessential flavors. So now we're, I'm just going to continue. Oops, I'm going to continue to incorporate this. I'm not going to touch anything. Else. Don't touch it until it's <laughs> fully, fully mixed, and then we're going to roll out some balls. Yay! Okay. Yay! See now that's nice yes. and incorporated. And so I couldn't let him have all the fun. I wanted to get a little messy. Made, too. Now that now it's fun. Now we're going to roll some balls. <laughs> yeah. So what? You, it's depending on what size of you know meatball you like. Uh, we like them sort of larger than a, a, a golf ball, a little ball, larger, like but about not three as ounces? big as say a softball. Yeah, it's about three ounces. That's, that's a good. good. 
good. Like, is that these, good? That's perfect. That's and a good looking meatball. There. That's a good looking meatball. <laughs> and uh, these are perfect for spaghetti and meatballs. Yes. I love making spaghetti and meatballs. These are also just so great with, you know, if you got guests coming over, um, you can put them in like a slow cooker and just let people eat them um, as they arrive. <laughs> yeah. So now this is an ideal time. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, roll these out and we're going to let, we need to let them chill. Um, so they're going to be just, too big. That's okay. All right. Um, I, if you have, a, this is an ideal time. If you have a kitchen scale, then you can measure and you know each one is going to be the exact All same. My meatballs are going to get bigger and bigger. I know, I know. Um, anyway, you can measure them in three ounces is, is perfect. But what I was going to say is that you homemade marinara is definitely the way to go. And so while this is chilling, you could make the marinara. We've got ours um, already made. It's in the, that's going to uh, come together with these very soon. Um, but you can make it the day before. It even gets better as it sits for a day or two. Um, but in, in a pinch, you could of course buy purchase. In a real a better pinch than going to the store, go to your local uh, Italian restaurant and say, hey, I need a cup or two cups of your sauce. Yeah. They'll give it to there you. There you go. They'll, they'll sell it to you. Okay, we're gonna continue rolling these out until we got them all rolled up. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Oh, I'm. You know what? I made an extra big meatball. On well, that I wouldn't expect yeah, look anything. Look at that else. bad boy. That is great. Okay. So now, like I said, we need to let these chill for at least an hour. You can even do this uh, the night before you're going to be serving them. Just wrap them in plastic, and then uh, let them sit, hang out in the fridge. Uh, what that does is it just helps firm them up a little bit. And um, see you later, meatball. Oh no. Till we meet again. All right. We're going to let them chill for an hour, and then we're going to bake them. Oh, doesn't this smell good? Yeah. So this is uh, my homemade marinara. It's easier to make than you might think. I've got the link to the recipe. Again, it makes all the difference in it's putting so these good. over the top. So and good. these have been in the fridge. They're chilly. I got chili meatballs. <laughs> chili meatballs. Chili and chance of meatballs or something? Yeah. yeah, rain and yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let these, we're going to cook what is these. That? It's preheated to 375. They're going to go in there for about 30 minutes. Now, you have the option here of. Do, cooking these in the skillet, um, you kind of what the idea is. You're gonna, you're not gonna fully cook them. You're just going to get a nice, like, nice sear. Hold um, on, I'm, or yeah. you can do them the easier way, which is in the oven. And today we opted for the easier way. Yeah, they cook beautifully. They still get. They, they're not gonna get as seared as they would here. Yes. But the flavor is really, really spectacular. Now we're, we're making these because they happen to be a favorite thing of Chris's niece Kelly and her husband. Dustin. Well, they've got a daughter named Maddie, and Maddie loves meatballs. She does. <laughs> she is a meatball. She knows a good meatball. Yeah. So I always she know does. if these are good or not if I get the thumbs up from Maddie. She goes, she goes, Chris, these are my favorite meatballs. I know, I know. And that melted my heart. So these are for you, Maddie. Yeah. All right, we're going to let these cook. I, after about 15 minutes, I'm going to flip them over and just so they stay nice and round. And then we finish them off in here so they absorb all that amazing flavor. Yes. And then it's Maddie meatball time. Yes. Okay. Yay! It's meatball time. Oh, wow. Oh, good, 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 good. Wow. So we're going to finish these babies off um, in this glorious marinara sauce. Okay. Um, and I think Thank I, you. I don't think I mentioned before, this is about, oh, those look amazing. Look um, at that. Those look really good. And those, like I said, we did in the oven. I mean, they don't quite get that brown if you're going to do it in the skillet, but they stay closer to a real true uh, sphere um, when you do them in the oven. And now we are going to transfer these yes, you beautiful got uh, balls of deliciousness yes. into the sauce. And uh, hold on. Oh, here, let me I take know, this. I don't know why. So I'm just, I don't want to get burned. I know. You're very <laughs> delicate. Anyway, um, so I we're going to. probably do a couple. There you go. There you go. Be careful now. I know. I know. It's a long haul. It is a long here, haul. Here, why don't I just get closer? That's a, that's a one of the novel idea. idea. I know. So <laughs> now we're going we're gonna, to uh, put these in here, and these are pretty close to being done as they are, but we need to really let them soak in that marinara flavor. Yes. And. Um, it's going to also impart some incredible flavor to the marinara. So we're going to uh, let these simmer for about anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. And, uh, then, and we're going to turn them every little, every little bit just so they get tons of flavor. And then 
Finally, it's time to eat them. <laughs> and it's gonna be a ball. It's gonna be a ball. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> I mean, like we said, this is the this is Yum. the meatball to measure all meatballs by. All right. I man. am so I excited. You were born for a meatball. Please put a meatball on my plate. I'm a oh, meatball for a meatball. What is that song? I lost my poor meatball. <laughs> Up on top of old Smokey. <laughs> on top of old Smokey. Oh, uh, let me give you a little more of this amazing oh, song. Oh, yes. So it's been simmering in this incredible, oh yeah, I gotta have a couple. What am I thinking here? Mm -hmm. um, it's been cooking, uh, simmering in this sauce uh, for about there. 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Yeah. And, um, you can eat, and then you can you can serve these in your slow cooker. Just put it on the warm setting. We're gonna give you a little parsley. Thank you. And then we're gonna top it off, like we said. Fresh <sighs> grated parmesan is the way to go, people. Oh, I am in. Serve this. Heaven. I'm, what, where am I? Meatball heaven. Meatball heaven. <laughs> I am too. I'm right there with you. Yum. <laughs> I've died and gone to meatball heaven. Yes. I'm gonna push this right here. I kind of like to think this is what heaven's all about. Uh, uh, meatballs. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, 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 it's the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> We've done enough talking. Yeah. Oh, it's so tender. Wow. Wow. The filling. You guys look at that. Oh boy, I am you know, salivating. That looks, oh. <gasps> okay. You're gonna wanna blow on it first. I know. Okay, you go. Good old chunk of meatball there. I would expect nothing less. Okay. <laughs> Maddie, I'm calling you. You're coming over. Speechless. Speechless. Oh, these are, oh. y'all. They take a little bit of uh, love, That's tender love okay. and care. Hey, but they, the wor the effort that is so is worth it. Just this meatball, Nirvana. That is so good. These are definitely going to be Maddie approved. I'm <laughs> sure. And you know what? What? They're 100,000 percent Luna approved. Yes! Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, uh, Maddie, I hope you like these meatballs. I know. We're, I'm saving a bunch for you, Maddie. Mm. So serve mm. this over spaghetti. You got all that marinara. Mm. I mean, it is, it, or serve it like this. It's just. It's, Put it on a sub. A sub. Yeah. A sub sandwich. <laughs> a meatball <laughs> sub. Oh, there's oh. so many ways you, to enjoy these. All right, we love you guys. Yay! Oh, Make meatballs. Make meatballs. A meatball. <laughs> <laughs>